Hey, are you tired of using the same old boring bait and not catching anything? Well, I've got a game changer for you. Meet the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. This is the ultimate versatile bait that's going to revolutionize the way you fish. This little guy is a fish magnet. Now listen, you want to watch this video all the way to the end because we're not only going to talk about the dark sleeper, but we're going to talk about the size of the bait. We're going to talk about different color selections of this bait. We're going to talk about how to fish it, where to fish it, and the setup to fish it on. So you don't want to miss any of these tips to help your beginning fishing. This bait's going to set you apart from other anglers on the water. All right, first let's talk about the bait selection. The dark sleeper is a small swim bait that comes in different sizes, including half ounce, three eighths of an ounce and three quarters of an ounce and up to a one ounce bait. Now I like to use the three eighths ounce just because I like this bait to fall a little bit slower, get a little bit more action as it's on its way to the bottom. But if you're fishing in deeper water, colder water, you're after some deeper fish, definitely one of those other size of dark sleepers might fit your fishing style better than a three eighths ounce. Now there's three primary colors I like to use in the dark sleeper to fish my local lakes. And then there's one other bait that I'll fish in a specific time that I'll tell you about. The most commonly used colors are a shag color, a dark brown or black color with some type of blue or gold markings, and a, a color called haze that closely resembles uh, pumpkin seed, uh, bluegill, or bluegill bait fish in my local lakes. The shad pattern is great when the bass are feeding on the shad. And I like to use this uh, dark sleeper bait, and this is called the Shiro. And it's a white um, dark sleeper with that chartreuse stripe down the side of it. So that's really good, I think, when the bass are feeding on the sh uh, shad spawn. That's when I'll throw that bait on as an exception and fish that color. The other one is a haze color, and I like to use this color when the fish, when the bass are feeding on those pumpkin seeds. And it's really great to mimic that bait fish color of those uh, pumpkin seed bluegills. And then I also like to use this darker brown, almost black looking color called Donko in the dark sleeper. And I think this probably closely resembles the color pattern on those um, Chub Creek minnows. If you're fishing in the mouths of creeks back up in those shallow flats. And then also those little sucker fish that you find in streams and ponds. Occasionally, I think this Donko color really does a good job of mimicking that bait fish. And so that's when I'll use this one the most. Now let's talk about how to fish the dark sleeper. I've got two baits here side by side, and I wanted to show you this Shiro color because it's kind of transparent on the bottom. And you can see the weight in that bait is, is kind of keel weighted towards the front of this. And you can't really see it that well in this other um, color called Haze that kind of mimics a bluegill or a pumpkin seed. But this bait, you can really uh, capitalize on its effectiveness by dragging it across the bottom like you would have almost like a football jig to kind of imitate the movement of a small bait fish. And the, ho the uh, hook on this one is actually uh, concealed in that pectoral fin on the top of that bait. And this technique's been known to be particularly effective in catching some big bass off the bottom. Now, another great way to fish the dark sleeper is just cast it out and let it sink to the bottom. And then you just want to slowly roll it across the bottom. And this can be a good technique to use in deeper water or when you're fishing around weeds or rocks. Now, when it comes to locations, this is a very versatile bait and you can fish it almost anywhere. You can fish it in weeds, rocks, around docks, shoreline, and even in deeper water. This bait, there's really no bad place to fish the dark sleeper. Now, the setup that you're going to need to fish the dark sleeper is going to vary on by the different conditions and techniques that you're fishing. But in just general terms, if you're going to fish the dark sleeper as a jig, I would recommend a medium heavy to a heavy rod with a fast to extra fast action tip. That pectoral fin hides that hook. You're going to need enough backbone in that rod to be able to drive that hook through the pectoral fin into the fish's mouth, but also sensitive enough so that you can feel the structure or the bottom when you're fishing that dark sleeper. Now, if you're going to fish it as a swim bait, you can certainly do that. In general terms, I would recommend, again, a medium to a medium heavy uh, rod with a fast action tip. That way you've got enough uh, flexibility in that rod, enough kinetic energy to get those long distance casts that you need to fish it as a swim bait. Now let's talk about the type of reel. I would definitely throw the, the dark sleeper on a bait caster, even the smallest size in the 3 8 ounce. 
In the speed of the reel, I would probably select a 7 to 1, a 7 3 to 1 gear ratio so that you can really control that bait and get that fish in on the fight. Now let's talk about fishing line. For the right line for, to fish the dark sleeper as a jig, I would recommend a braided fishing line with a fluorocarbon leader. That braided fishing line will give you the right combination of strength and sensitivity, and that fluorocarbon leader will help you with stealthiness and line abrasion. Now, if you're going to fish that dark sleeper as a swim bait, I would recommend either monofilament or fluorocarbon line. That Make sure you choose a line that's appropriate for the size of fish that you're targeting. Now, remember, those are just general recommendations, and you may want to modify your setup based on the specific conditions and the type of fishing that you're doing, but these will get, help you get started fishing that dark sleeper. All right, all the things we've covered so far with the dark sleeper swim bait is the weights of the bait, the different color selections that this bait comes in, um, the conditions, where to fish it, how to fish it, and the rod and reel setup, even down to the fishing line that you need to start using the dark sleeper swim bait and up your beginning bass fisherman game. All right, so listen, go down below right now, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. That keeps me motivated here on the channel to keep bringing you new content, and I try to every week to help elevate your beginner bass fishing game. Listen, um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and there's always more great content on the channel. Make sure you take a look at these next videos because these are the ones that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Stay safe out on the water, tight lines, and remember how we do it here at RC Bassin'. Hook them up!